Well, hello, this is Scott Springer from the Community Press, along with Nick Dudukovich, and Tony Mealy is off uh, covering the uh, great uh, yak races in Madagascar this weekend. I think those are going to be on True TV. On the company furlough, he will be back, I promise you. Uh, but we're here to talk some basketball with you. I saw uh, Moeller and Winthrow last week. I saw LaSalle and Wenton Woods, and I saw Moeller play LaSalle. I'll talk about that, but you also saw uh, Taft, who's going to state, play one of the teams you cover, Summit Country Day. I'll tell you, some, the Summit Tap game was probably the uh, the best game, uh, the best high school game I've ever seen. Uh, many people expected Taft really just to, to blow Summit out, but credit Summit, they took Taft to the limit and actually had the had the lead at, at certain points of the fourth quarter before finally falling at the end. Um, a couple of kids uh, that I want to mention uh, that uh, really helped Summit get to where they are. Freshman point guard Antonio Woods had 20 points in the regional semifinals game. That's right, folks. I said it. He's a freshman. He's a, they're young. I mean, that's a young team. Yeah. Some it is. With uh, with Kevin Johnson, sophomore standout coming back, who I thought was the best player on the floor in all the games I saw at uh, Kendrick Strand Arena. I mean, some could be a factor among the area's basketball elite. Sophomore and, and a freshman coming back next year, and uh, Michael Bradley not too shabby as a coach either. Not too bad at all. Like I, uh, I tweeted during the game, you know, he looks as cool and as calm as collected on the sideline as the guy that recruited him to play in college, Rick Pitino. So it's definitely, it's one cool guy. Kentucky so. played at Villanova. He's right. got plenty of experience, and I didn't know who he was the first time I saw him. I went, "Wow, that tall guy really knows what he's doing." That's right. He, he's uh, been able to get those kids to play real well, and uh, we'll see what they uh, are capable of doing next year. And I want to say about Taft. I mean, Taft plays unbelievable basketball. They play two hundred percent the entire game. Uh, Adolphus Washington, the, the big forward, 6'6". I mean, this kid, not only can he throw down a thunderous dunk, but he's got such nice, t nice touch around the basket. You know, he's, he's, he's capable of stepping back, hitting the 5-7 foot jump shot. And he's, the, his stroke from the free throw line, oh, he's unbelievable. And he's got another year, and he's also the, uh, the best football recruit around. I saw him play as a freshman. And he's got one more year to go in both sports. He's an awesome kid. Absolutely. His athletic skills are yeah, undeniable. Moeller and LaSalle was what you would expect. The GCL is the, the local Big East. Uh, knockdown, drag out. 24 to 11, LaSalle gets out to an early lead. I never would have predicted that. And that, that, that it was pretty much all the first half. That gave LaSalle the game. In the end, Moeller creeped to within three. Uh, had a shot at getting to within one in the fourth quarter. Couldn't hit the free throws. Uh, LaSalle jumps ahead. But a nice story. Uh, Dan Fleming, the uh, coach, is recovering from a heart attack, was in the uh, luxury suite looking down and was there at the game, didn't get to come out and cut down the nets at the end. So uh, a nice story and a very good deep team, Brandon Neal, Ryan Fleming, Matt Woosty, Josh Lemons, and uh, Trey Casey. And you're going to get to see him this week. I was worried about Coach Fleming when I read he was at that ball game. Uh, I can imagine how uh, nervous he was probably watching his boys. But yeah, I will be at the, I will be covering LaSalle at the, at the State Final Four this weekend. They're playing to Toledo Central Catholic, so we'll see if they're able to pull it out. Uh, both, both teams play a, kind of a smothering uh, style of man-to-man uh, -man defense, so I'm interested to see if it's going to be a low-scoring affair. Or, or yeah, LaSalle's game. defense shut down Moeller, I mean, early in the year, to held him to 28 points. In this game, it, it was 35-36 uh, off the top of my head. I'm not remembering exactly. I'm sure you, Moeller fans can tell me in an email. But uh, a, a very good game, and LaSalle has a, as good a chance as anyone. The GCL, those kids just play with so much heart and guts, and they expect to win every time that they're out. Uh, anything else going on in, in the the uh, schools that you cover? Uh, you know, I wanted to, we did our baseball previews, check those out in the Press Preps page. I wanted to mention a couple kids from uh, Cincinnati Hills Christian Academy. They got a couple, maybe maybe the top two uh, pitchers in any rotation in the city. Um, feel free to argue me, with me on that if you'd like, but uh, Matt Blankenship leads the squad with a 1.53 ERA, and uh, Larry Ryderwine's squad uh, also has Ted Andrews, the 6 foot 7 10, Ted Andrews, whose fastball is topping out at 86 or 87 miles an hour. He's being recruited by the likes of Stanford and Vanderbilt, and the last time I checked, was a pretty good program. So. Not too shabby. I, I, I've talked some softball this week. I've got a story coming out. Uh, Montana Weir's out in Felicity. If you haven't heard of her, you will soon. Her dad has been around the seminars. Her dad knows Jenny Finch. Uh, this girl can throw the softball, has been throwing it, and Felicity was 20-2 and two last year. Now, let me tell you what, folks. If these kids get to the state tournament and to win, this is like Coach Norman Dale taking Hickory High winning the the uh, Hoosier State Championship. It would be incredible. It would blow Felicity away, and I guarantee you she'd have a road and a sign and possibly a school named after her. <laughs> That's about all we have right now. Uh, Tony Mealy will update us on the uh, yak races in Madagascar because everyone is glued to their seat on those. He'll be back next week. Scott Springer, Nick Dudukovich, and we're out.